He's a middle-aged man with IBS Goes out of sight to relieve his stress With his dogs, he's a fun and ambler So hit subscribe to the Rural Rambler Hello, it's been a while since our last video and due to the COVID restrictions, we kind of go far afield. So what I found upstairs is this map, treasure map of Stonehaven. And as we're allowed to stay local, we've got a local map for locals only. And what it does, it's got six clues. You get the coordinates and you find a treasure. So what we'll do is we'll go and have a cup of coffee. I'll hook up Brenna, she can come with us for a walk and we'll nip down to Stonehaven. Now the first clue in the treasure trail is down at the end of Mineral Well Park. So what we've done is we've parked up beside the old distillery. I'll speak of that in a minute. And uh, we've just come down this road. Shockingly icy, but never mind. And then we pass this. This is the Stenhaven and District Radio Car Club. There's a wee track in there. I'm assuming they stand up in the, the, the railings with their remote controls. So we're underneath, here's the, the viaduct for the Aberdeen line, the railway line. And the first clue is here. So clue number one says, where is it? Count the number of the ribs of the shell and use the second digit. The second clue is about the end of this road here, it's back towards the, the village. This is why we parked the way up there. So we'll head up this path and we'll try and find the statue of Robert Burns. Now, the buildings ahead of us, that was part of the old uh, Glenuri distillery. The distillery was founded in 1825 by Captain Robert Barclay, Laird at Uri and MP for Kincardine. There were many distilleries established around this time following the Liberalisation Excise Act of 1823 and the purpose of the act was to try and reduce the number of illicit stills and the amount of smuggled whisky produced. Barclay was a Quaker and as a progressive farmer built and rebuilt the distillery to prove a market for local barley. I say rebuilt because shortly after opening the kiln part of the building yeah, and part of the molten floor along with a substantial quantity of barley was destroyed by the fire. Worse was yet to come when an employee suffered fatal injuries. As the Aberdeen Journal reported in May 11th, 1825, on Saturday last, about one o'clock, Andrew Clark, one of the workmen employed at Glenuri Distillery, being sent to examine the state of the great boiler by some unfortunate accident, fell backwards into it and was so dreadfully burned that he died in extreme agony at seven o'clock in the evening. Now Barclay had a friend at court, whom he referred to as Mrs. Windsor, and she persuaded King William IV to allow him the use of royal suffix from 1835, therefore making this one of the only three distilleries ever to be granted permission to use royal as a prefix or suffix, the others being Loch Nagar and Brachla. So the second clue is in the Robert Burns Memorial Garden. Like we said, a quick fit. And to be honest with you, I never even knew this was here. Clue number two reads, look at the statue of Robert Burns and count the buttons. The jacket and the waistcoat. Yeah. Right, so we'll leave the park now. Next clues, you walked in Barclay Street, so off we go.
Now clue number three says how many rosettes are on the plaque above the entrance to number nine, Evans Street. So I'm guessing that's two. I have no idea what the plaque says. Now we've just come up Evans Street. We've got to turn right into Robert Street. That little white building sticking out there, that's the Stenhaven Library. So once you finish the treasure map, that's where you're supposed to go. But as I said, due to the COVID, it's shut just now. So we'll head up this way. So this is Robert Street. So we're looking for, looking for clue number four. Count the number of gable roofs facing the street on Clutch Facker House, 23 Robert Street. I hope that makes sense when we get there. Gable ends, look, it does make sense. Here's Clash Wacker House. So it's three. Now, our next clue, we're heading for Bath Street. And we've got to count the number of monkey puzzle trees on the even side of the street. So this is Bath Street, and we've got to count the monkey puzzles on the even side. But there's two on both sides, so I'm guessing the number is two. Because I'm not sure if its side is even and if it's odd. Now we're heading down this street here. This is to Baird Terrace. The last clue takes us back down towards Mineral Well Park. And we're looking for what number is above the letter C on the concrete post. So, off we go. Come on, we'll head this Come on, this way. This is, uh, this is on the route of the park run. This bit's good, but the bit coming up there is bloody horrible. You've got to come up here, round, and then back down here. So here's the little wee hill you climb in the park run. You do it three times. The first time you think, ah, oh, it's not too bad. Second time, mm. by the time you come round here, the third time, you're just sick of the place. You can run here, and then you come down this road up here. There we go, so we cross this wee burn. We cross this wee burn here. And the last clue is asking for the letter above the sea in the concrete post. Now let's just finish the, the trail. We've got our coordinates. Now in theory we should be heading back to the Stonehaven Library. But as I said, it's closed with COVID, so I'll have to wait for another day. So, what we'll do, we'll just head back to the car. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to give us a thumbs up or a subscribe. And hopefully it won't be too long if we'll route again. See ya!